136, Makani Christensen. 137. Oh, Sorry. Hello, board. Um, my name is Makani Christensen. I'm representing the Hunting, Farming, and Fishing Association tonight. Um, these rules are, um, we oppose, oppose these rules first off. Uh, reason being is because it limits access to uh, hunters that we have on Mauna Kea. Um, and it's an emergency rule that lasts for 120 days and goes away. But really, how long does it take to build TMT? This is going to be a problem if you don't solve it with a potentially better solution because our hunters will be denied access. Um, we have hunters that go to the backside of Mauna Kea um, and start their trek at about 1 o'clock in the morning to get there. Um, they use stoves to heat up their food during the afternoon. Um, and sometimes, you know, it gets cold out there. And for safety-wise, you know, these these items, you had more items on the first list and were taken off. And when, by the time I got here by 1 o'clock, we had to change our testimony a little bit. Um, to, I guess it was to appease um, the hunters, but still using a game management area to solve a problem, it really just limits access to more people. And, um, you know, everybody has the right to protest. And this is a short-sighted uh, endeavor. And if uh, many of you will probably have an opportunity to read the Tribune Herald paper that came out on the the steps that are being taken to come up with this, this rulemaking process. Um, so I just suggest, strongly suggest, or that you guys come up with a better solution to this overall problem that's affecting more than just the protesters up on the mountain, but it's affecting a lot of mountain users. That's all I have. Thank you. Thank you.